Romeim, Romans 1. Paul, a servant of Yahweh Shah, Hamashiach, called to be an apostle, separated unto the Besorah of Yahweh, which he had promised afore by his prophets in the Holy Scriptures. Concerning his son, Yahusha Hamashiach, our Adonai, which was made of the seed of David, according to the flesh, and declared to be the son of Elohim with power, according to the Ruach HaKadosh, by the resurrection from the dead, by whom we have received grace and apostleship for obedience to the belief among all nations for his name, among whom are ye also the called of Yahusha HaMashiach, to all that be in Rome, beloved of Yahweh, called to be Kodeshim, grace to you and peace from Yahweh, our Father, and the Adonai Yahusha HaMashiach. First, I thank my Yah, through Yahusha HaMashiach, for you all, that your belief is spoken of throughout the whole world. For Yahweh is my witness, whom I serve with my Ruach in the Besara of his Son, that without ceasing I make mention of you always in my prayers, making request, if by any means now at length I might have a prosperous journey by the will of Yahweh, to come unto you, for I long to see you, that I may impart unto you some spiritual gift, to the end ye may be established. That is, that I may be comforted together with you, by the mutual belief, both of you and me. Now I would not have you ignorant, brethren, that oftentimes I purposed to come unto you, but was let hitherto that I might have some fruit among you also, even as among the other nations. I am debtor both to the Yavanim and to the barbarians, both to the wise and to the unwise. So, as much as is in me, I am ready to preach the Besara to you there that are at Rome also. For I am not ashamed of the Besara of Hamashiach, for it is the power of Yah, unto salvation to everyone that believes, to the Yahudi first, and also to the Yavani. For therein is the righteousness of Yah revealed from belief to belief, as it is written, the just shall live by belief. For the wrath of Yah is revealed from heaven against all wickedness and unrighteousness of men who hold the truth in unrighteousness. Because that which may be known of Yah is manifest in them, for Yahweh has showed it unto them. For from the creation of the world, the invisible things of Yah are clearly seen, being understood by the things that are made, even his eternal power and divinity, so that they are without excuse. Because that when they knew Yahweh, they glorified him not as Yahweh, neither were thankful, but became vain in their imaginations, and their foolish heart was darkened. Professing themselves to be wise, they became fools, and changed the glory of the incorruptible Yah into an image made like to corruptible man and to birds and four-footed beasts, and creeping things. Wherefore Yahweh also gave them up to uncleanness through the lusts of their own hearts, to dishonor their own bodies between themselves, who changed the truth of Yah into a lie, and worshipped and served the creature more than the Creator, who is blessed forever. Amen. For this cause Yah gave them up unto vile affections, for even their women did change the natural use into that which is against nature. And likewise also the men, 
leaving the natural use of the woman, burned in their lust one toward another, men with men, working that which is unseemly, and receiving in themselves that recompense of their error which was meet. And even as they did not like to retain Yah in their knowledge, Yahuwah gave them over to a reprobate mind to do at those things which are not convenient. Being filled with all unrighteousness, fornication, wickedness, covetousness, maliciousness, full of envy, murder, debate, deceit, malignity, whisperers, backbiters, haters of Yah, despiteful, proud, boasters, inventors of evil things, disobedient to parents, without understanding, covenant breakers, without natural affection, implacable, unmerciful, who, knowing the judgment of Yah, that they which commit such things are worthy of death, not only do the same, but have pleasure in them that do them. 